Hi, I'm Jack Uxel with Tackle HD. Today I'm going to be showing you the trout worm kit that uh, we have just recently coming out. Uh, what we have here is several different colors of worms. Uh, all have been productive colors and uh, this time of year is a great time of year to go trout fishing. Um, we've got a few split shots over here and a few small hooks. I'm going to grab the bubblegum pink worm and thread it on this hook. There's a couple different ways you could do this. You could just thread it on the hook from one of the ends of the worms, or you can also wacky rig it. First one I'm going to do is to thread it on there. It does take a little bit of time. Like so. Alright, now I'm going to take it out and I'm going to wacky rig it. To wacky rig it, that means basically you're putting it in the middle. It doesn't have to be in the middle, but you know, you're going to basically have two ends of the worm that when you twitch the worm through the water, the ends will wiggle. Okay. I've got a small split shot few inches below, above the worm and if you're getting hung up a lot you could put a bobber a smaller bobber uh, up two or three feet above it now on this rod I've got two pound test on it and that's that's pretty important there's gonna be some days and some water situations where you could get away with four pound test but anything more than that uh, trout really won't it won't work so good for them so think light line uh, this will work great and various trout parks around the country and um, in the streams. Um, just a, it's a great little worm. It catches more than just trout too. It'll catch crappie, it'll catch bluegills and small bass. Hello everyone, it's Jack Uxa here with Tackle HD and today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy knot called a polymer. Um, what you do is you take your, uh, your fishing line and your eye of the hook you put the line through the eye, turn it around, go back through the opposite direction. Now I'm going to pull out a little extra line. Okay, now I'm going to make an overhand knot. See there? I kind of snug it down a little bit. Now I'm going to put the lure through the loop. Okay, now I'm going to moisten it just a touch. And now I'm going to pull the tag in with my tooth. Now, I didn't cut through the line. I have scissors for that. This is your tag in. Cut that. Now I'm going to make sure it's all tight, just like so. Now, that's your polymer knot. I want you to try this and practice it at home before you guys go out to the lake. And um, if you practice this for, you know, for two or three nights beforehand, um, just tie it, cut it, tie it again. You know, you do that several times, you'll have it in, in a short period of time. And, um, and that's it. It's a great knot. I've been using it for 30 years. It's easy. Uh, that's about it. Tight lines.